Welcome to an incredible and undervalued plant grown around the world. Today we would like to introduce you to a plant commonly known as sorrel. We planted some in our backyard in South Florida. Sorrel is known as Roselle, Florida Jamaica, Hibiscus Tea, the Florida Cranberry, and the list goes on. The scientific name is Hibiscus sabdarifa. For simplicity, we'll refer to it as sorrel. Sorrel belongs to the hibiscus species and is highly revered for a specific part of the plant, the calyx. Researchers believe sorrel originated in either Africa or Southeast Asia in the 1500s and circulated the world after that. We're featuring sorrel in September because fall is when it's typically harvested. Sorrel is an annual plant that grows like a lush bush and is cultivated from seeds. Can you guess how much sorrel you can reap from a single plant? How about three to 16 pounds, depending on the size of the plant? Here is what it looks like up close. You can see the ribbed calyx, which is what you harvest. Here are the smaller versions. And here you can see the formation of the calyx and the pink hibiscus flower that blooms in the middle. As the calyx matures, the flower petals curl inward into a ball, as seen here, and they drop off. It takes a few weeks to fully mature. Featured here are the classic red sorrel. The plant grows about four to eight feet high. The plants tend to be hardy, but with recent heavy rains, you can see the buds were knocked off and the leaves were tattered. Now I'll share with you some fun facts. The flavor of the sorrel is tart and packed with flavor. Sorrel comes in a green variety and the bloom is a creamy white with a pink center. The flavor is like lemonade and the color when made into a drink is like pink grapefruit juice. Sorrel is versatile and can be eaten raw or used in beverages, desserts or tea. Did you know that due to the bright red color and tart flavor, it's used as a basis of teas around the world. The entire plant can be eaten. Research shows the sorrel is rich in antioxidants, minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, and the list goes on. The seeds and leaves are a good source of protein and fat. The entire plant is used for medicinal purposes, such as ointments for wounds and tonics for sore throat. Sorrel is indeed a super fruit. Here we have different aspects of the sorrel plant. The leaves are edible and can be cooked and combined with other dishes. We harvested some sorrel just for you today. The best way to extract the calyx from the seed is to cut around the base. This is the seed pod and it is hard and compact. You can store these fresh seed pods in a cool, dry place for the next few weeks until they completely dry. Once they dry, they'll be hard and crunchy. You can extract the seeds and share with some of your favorite people to plant in their gardens. This is a gift worth giving. Here's what the dry sorrel looks like. You can see the calyxes are shredded and separated to ensure proper drying. I'll open a couple of pots to show how easily they break apart and how to extract the seeds. You can see from one pod, there's about a dozen seeds. You could plant fields of sorrel just with one pod. Now let's go inside so we can share with you a special treat of how to make Jamaican sorrel. We will now walk you through the process of making this festive drink. In Jamaica, it's just called sorrel. Sorrel is made specifically during the Christmas season. And once you see the color, you'll understand why. These are the main ingredients. Here's the dried sorrel, but fresh sorrel can be used. Raw ginger, ginger is a must. Allspice berries to give it that malt flavor. And sugar, we prefer cane sugar. And lastly, you can spike it with rum if you're in an extra festive mood. Sorrel is typically served and stored without rum. First, we boil the water and let it sit. We want to maintain the health benefits of the sorrel, so boiling the sorrel is not recommended. Use a nut bag, as shown here, and add the dried sorrel. This is about two cups. The quantity of the sorrel depends on how robust you would like the flavor. 
In our household, we enjoy the intensity of the flavor, so we tend to add more sorrel and less water. The benefit of doing it this way is that you can always add more water later on. As you can see inside the pot how much the dried sorrel expands once hydrated. Let the sorrel steep for about 10 minutes. While you add the fresh ginger to the blender, the quantity of the ginger depends on how much of the spicy flavor you enjoy. We added about two cups of chopped ginger. Add the blended ginger to the same bag of the sorrel and let it sit for several hours. Once the sorrel is still warm, sweeten to your liking. Let it cool completely before you transfer to glass containers. Sorrel can be stored inside or outside of the fridge for many months. Sugars will encourage fermentation, so keep that in mind. Sorrel can be consumed hot or cold, but in Jamaica, it is traditionally served on ice. Cheers!